What is the mind of God for Nigeria? I saw a mountain in the spirit and that mountain was the mountain of government. And this mountain of government was precisely the government of Nigeria. This is a word of the Lord. <laughs> What is the mind of God for Nigeria? And I've told you this current regime is not the perfect will of God. It's a permissive will. Go and check my prophecy. Autorisé, mais ce n'est pas la volonté parfaite. Allez, vérifiez mes prophéties passées. Am I saying they will not do well? They will do well. Est-ce que je dire qu'ils vont pas réussir? Non, ils vont le faire. Ils vont le faire. But it's going to get tough. Mais ça va être to get better. Par la suite, ça améliore. And even the better might not be better enough for Nigeria. Peut-être que le mieux là ne sera pas vraiment meilleur pour le Nigeria. So please. S'il vous plaît. Let's keep praying. Continuons de prier. For our leaders. Pour nos leaders. For Nigeria. Et pour le Nigeria. Our bitterness can make it better. Ne peut pas we need cela. to pray for Nigeria. On doit prier pour le Nigeria. So for me, I'm not blind. Moi, je suis pas That's why I prepared you. Voilà I said it's going to be tough. Some of you don't understand. Mais ne pas. And I talked about the naira to the dollar. Go and check that prophecy. It is clear there. Pour le dollar. J'ai, j'ai so we did not enter this year like people that are blind. On est pas encore dans cette année, c'est comme des gens aveugles. Just that you people did not expect it that it was going. Because when the prophet says it's going to be certain, tough, we will give you details. You are going to start telling us that we are prophet of doom. Alors, si on vous donne les so détails, we have to speak to you in parable. De, de père, de on doit vous parler donc en parabole. Uh, even the way it is now, Même you think it's tough. It's not, it has not got tough. Vous pensez que c'est difficile? Ce n'est pas encore dur comme il le faut. Yes. Oui. I will leave you the other way so that you don't go and start fighting me again. Pour que vous ne venez pas lutter contre moi une fois encore. Let me leave you that way. Je vais laisser cela comme cela. It will still get tough. Ça va continuer à être difficile. Et I don't know in what area. Je ne connais pas dans quel domaine précisément. Okay. Leave food. Leave food. Mettez de côté leave la nourriture. Things. I'm seeing something different. Je vois quelque chose de différent. Apart from that, let me à leave you that cela. way. I'm not, a, I'm not a prophet of doom. Je ne suis pas un prophète de perte. Hey, uh, Prophet Ikila, you prophesy about this Prophet government. Yes, I prophesy about this government, and I told you that dit, they are the permissive will of God. C'est la volonté autorisée de Dieu, pas parfaite. And I said, j'ai dit, our fathers have eaten the grape of corruption. I talked about even the body of Christ. Nos parents ont mangé le raisin de la corruption. de cela. Je vais seulement rester à ce niveau. And I say, this that happened, it is the permissive will of God. qui se pose, qui se passe là, c'est la volonté. For the intercessors, the gatekeepers and the guardians that have stood upon their watch for months and years, waiting for the word of the Lord to come to pass. I see, I see these individuals, watchmen, intercessors, gatekeepers, guardians. I see, I see them all. Holding, holding the nation and ascending the mount, and the the nation was was contained in what looks like a vessel that housed a liquid, and it felt as though the liquid was going to spill, and so the individuals were holding on to holding on to the vessel to ensure that it doesn't pour over. They kept doing this, and as they were ascending the mountain, and many were on the verge of giving up. Many were on the verge of giving up because it was too slippery. The liquid was too slippery. And this is speaking about what has been happening in the Nigerian government, in the political sector of Nigeria. Many have been praying and praying for years. Many have been praying and praying for months. And things have been changing in the nation. Things have been changing in the nation, both with policies and people are ascending to power. And so many things have been happening and it, it, it all feels slippery and many are on the verge of giving up. And so the Lord is speaking to the intercessors, the watchmen, the gatekeepers and the guardians. He's saying, stand upon your watch, stand upon your watch. And in the vision, I saw that these individuals, these functionaries in the spirit, they were so close to the summit of the mountain. And I saw what would happen in the future. And what happened was that when they got to the summit of the mountain, I saw the hand of the Lord revealed and he said, give me Nigeria. And when they handed the nation into the hand of God, 
what now happened was that liquid that was contained in that vessel, that framework, became solid. The transformation in the vision looked like the transformation of a liquid metal, such as gold or any other metal, into a solid metal. And so it went from liquid to solid within a split second in the vision, and Nigeria became established. And I saw that what the Lord also did for these functionaries is that he made them pillars in the nation. The pillars that I saw were speaking of the reward. All four pillars, they spoke of rewards because the Lord does not call people to labor in vain. And so the Lord says, hang in there. Keep lifting up Nigeria in prayers. Stand upon your watch. Keep praying. Keep interceding. Keep looking to me. In the natural, it may not look like it. In the natural, it may not seem like it. In the natural, things may be going from bad to worse. Trust in me. Hang in there. Keep praying. Keep burning that incense. And I will show up. For you are very close to the summit of the mountain. When you get to the summit of the mountain, I will show up. And that which has seemed slippery before now shall become established. And I will make you a pillar in the nation of Nigeria, says the Lord. Hang in there, be encouraged. Do not stop praying. Keep praying for the nation of Nigeria because the season, the season of Nigeria's deliverance is upon the nation. He says, I will change the landscape swiftly and many shall not see it coming. Thank you, Jesus. So, beloved, I believe we heard what Prophet Joshua Igela has to say and also Prophet Paul has to say concerning Nigeria and the things that are about to happen, especially what Prophet Joshua Igela has to say concerning Nigeria and concerning a lot of things getting tougher in the coming days. And there's something he says that actually got me interested. He says that we should forget about full stuff, that things are going to get worse than the prices of commodity rising and this video is just a whole lot so i just decided to share it here with you guys and before i continue please if you have not subscribed to my channel can you pause this video at this point subscribe comment like share and also don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always watching my video god bless you as you do that all the time so like you were saying i don't know what is actually going to get tougher because see to be a nigerian right now it's like a day job or it's like a thousands job right now because things are just getting bad by the day and the federal government are not really doing anything to actually put things in place okay just look at the protest that took place on the 1st of august 2024 to 10th of august nothing was actually done about it the demands of the entire public was just like it's like you're speaking to someone that is deaf and done or you're sowing or you're putting a crop like a seed on a rock and you are expecting it to germinate i felt like that was what happened in the situation of we nigerians coming out to protest for our right for the government to actually do something and we asked baba tinibu to actually bring um first of the bag that one is a whole new video on on another level on its own and then joshua igila actually talked about um prices of dollar going up i believe early this year if you have not been following me from the beginning of this year please you can go back to my old prophecies and watch just scroll down to the month of january 2024 upward you will see that i've been dropping prophecies concerning um prices of dollar actually going up and what is actually happening to our uh, to our economic sector in nigeria and it is bad and it's like it's getting worse and i don't think dollar is actually going to fall anytime soon and a lot of prophecies have been dropping that dollar price is going to actually increase from what it is tomorrow it goes up it's beating between 1500 naira to 1600 naira as we speak so couple of minutes you may see that it has gone to 1600 naira and some naira's on it then before you know it has fall to 540 something naira it is something naira which is a whole lot for us nigeria to actually handle 
at this point because <laughs> Omo, if you know what is cooking like i said in my previous video if you are interested in politics anything that has to do with the growth of nera economic setup in nigeria if you want me to talk about it please don't hesitate to drop it at the comment section below let me see whether we are all interested to get into politics to actually dig deep than what we normally share on this platform which is prophecies as you all know and there is something that prophet paul actually says that i want a lot of us to embrace and not give up hope like he says like there is always light at the end of the tunnel no matter how dark and narrow it is light is going to surely come and he says that the people that have been praying for nigeria it has not gone in vain it has not fall on deaf ear god is definitely definitely doing something god is actually working something out for we nigerians and we need to hold god tight at this point and pray that may his will be done at the end of the day no what pl whatever plan god have for us nigerians may it come to pass may our land be fruitful and may our lands be full of abundance left and right east west north south so please let's join forces to pray for nigeria in as much as i share prophecy i talk that our politicians are not doing their best to actually help the entire masses i also encourage us individuals to actually pray for nigeria to make sure that a lot of things actually go well for us so that we don't shout had i know had i know why are things this bad why are things going the way it is going right now which i understand everybody totally even to feed to pay rent to pay school fees it's like another ball game on its own so let's pray to god almighty and say that papa god please do this one for all so if it is not you i don't think we can actually skate through or put through at the end of the day so that is just what me i just just want to urge each and every one of us to do and keep on praying and not get tired of say that oh i'm tired of all this nigeria wahala i'm tired of this federal government what they are doing i'm tired of hearing prophecies i understand that you are tired of hearing prophecies they say that nigeria is going to be great new nigeria is going to comfort biafra is going to take place very soon and do's and don't that biafrans are not supposed to do a whole lot yes i know i share it on this channel but i'm not sharing it to uh, promote negativity or anything i'm sharing it to create awareness for you to have an insight of what is about to happen and what god is saying there are a lot of things that this prophet actually says that a lot of us take it for granted but they are not meant to be taken for granted and i'm one of those persons that if you're a prophet irrespective of who you are see your prophecies doesn't sit war or you are just saying it out of hate or a place of hate me i will come here and say it that i don't understand what this man of god is actually saying and i don't know why you are coming out to tell people what to do or like you know that kind of a thing now i always put it out there that i don't like the way this prophet is sounding i don't like the way this prophetess is actually sounding that is me for you i don't take a lot of things for granted i always embody positivities and when i see negativity i actually speak on it for all of us to actually have an insight and say that okay this one is actually not sitting well this one is actually okay and this one is like this that is what i normally do here so please when i say pray for nigeria because majority of the prophecies these people are dropping are actually coming to pass back to back don't hesitate to actually drop a comment or a word of prayer at the comment section below and don't hesitate to pray for our your nation nigeria so that is why i come to share this one with you to give you that hope to know that yes a lot of pastors a lot of spiritual fathers are taking bribe down they cannot even come out to actually see what they are supposed to do they, they cannot even say that oh what the federal government is doing is bad they should put things in place they are not doing but when you go to churches now they are sharing uh five tin of milk um which is like this big milk um conco in churches gary how many are you going to share best thing to do is to actually speak up for your congregation and call the spade a spade 
because you cannot share two cup of rice and expect individuals to be okay with it nigerians are not asking people to give them food they are asking for things to be easy because as you all know nigerians are hustlers you can put nigeria anywhere in the in the face of this earth they will survive i'm a nigerian and i've survived in countries that they will see like ah people are lazy but you have to like get your shoe up you have to do things just to make sure that life are a bit easier for you so please let's do it to pray for our country and forget about any negative um things that is happening on social media no we hear or no we come across or feeling like nigeria is not going to be better you want division yes me i've been saying it if division should come today we will all be happy a country that is doing better than nigeria and that is just within a state that like a place that you can even walk to you can even use bike to go to everybody will actually move in there but for now we are in nigeria and let's pray for god's infinite mercy over nigeria so that is just what i want to share with you guys please do it to subscribe if you have not subscribed already and do it to like comment share turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified easily and if you're a returning subscriber i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always watching my video god bless you and i'll see you in the next one shortly bye for now guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.